Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke pitched his latest stimulus plan at Jekyll Island this weekend, and some of the world's best-known economic ex experts, including some former Fed officials, aren't convinced. Our economics editor, Michael McKee, our own expert, was there, and he has the details. Mike? Well, Eric, how could Ben Bernanke sell the American people on QE2 if he can't convince his friends and colleagues? Two Fed's worth of current and retired policymakers were there to hear Bernanke defend his policy on Jekyll Island, Georgia, this weekend. But he had a tough time convincing the crowd. Former New York Fed President Jerry Corrigan, now with Goldman Sachs, questioned QE2 in a speech he wrote and distributed, even though he wasn't scheduled to give a speech. Efforts to achieve an upward nudge in today's very low inflation rate make me somewhat uncomfortable, he wrote. Corrigan, who served as Paul Volcker's right-hand man at the Fed fighting the great inflation of the 1970s, expanded on his unease during a panel with Bernanke and Alan Greenspan. Is there a risk uh, that uh, nudging it up to pick a number, 2% or whatever you want to use, uh, may turn out to be easier uh, than capping it at 2% or whatever? That got an immediate rise out of Bernanke. I have rejected any notion that we are going to try to raise inflation uh, to a, a supernormal level uh, in order to have effects on the economy. But even Greenspan, who didn't take a public position, offered a warning. Monetary policy eases far more rapidly than it tightens. Now, it was all very collegial and on the surface friendly, but the experts and old-timers at the Fed conference made it clear Bernanke, they feel, may be gambling with the economy.